Tens of thousands of residents in Clarington and Bowmanville will be without power overnight on Saturday. For more why this is happening and the exact timing, we're joined by Tiziana Basega Rosa, spokesperson for Hydro One. Okay, when is this happening on Saturday? Because I don't know if you heard, kind of a big hockey game going on Saturday night. So we do, we know it's a big night, uh, but to, let's start at the beginning. So mm -hmm. it is scheduled to start at 11 p.m. and go till 7 a.m. Now, it is a big night, and the conversations right now are if the Leafs don't win in regulation time, we are looking at options to delay if they go into overtime. Wow. That's like the most Canadian thing we've ever heard, right? That you're going to delay it. So if they go into overtime or double overtime or shootouts, this this control blackout will be pushed back i i can make no promises at this point aside from there are lots of conversations happening right now you can imagine the planning and the resources behind this outage uh, it is not a simple task so we are looking at what is possible at this point uh, in order to support our fans for sure and so what actually needs to be done like why, why is this happening yeah, so it's really important that we're constantly investing in the in the electricity system. You know, power's probably never been more critical, and we don't we rely on it for so many aspects of our life. So what we need to do is install some critical equipment at our Wilson TS station, so that Darlington Nuclear Generating Station has an alternate backup source if they were to ever need it. Um, so while we have this outage happening, we're also making additional investments, replacing some poles in the area. We want to maximize this so that we don't have another interruption for customers uh, in the foreseeable future. Ryan, how long does this normally take, this, uh, this transition and implementation? Yeah, so this is um, a, a long outage. So it goes from 11 p.m. to 7 a.m. And that allows for, you know, all of the work that needs to happen there. Some of it is behind the scenes from a control room and the rest is all under uh, on the ground with our crews who are actually performing the work. But it is it is a giant effort. Uh, I don't want to not mention it is also affecting Alexicon's customers in the area. So it is very impactful. We know how hard it is to be without electricity. So, you know, we want people to know this is happening, prepare for it. Think about what you need during that time if you are going to be awake. Um, hopefully most of us will be sound asleep if we're not cheering for the Leafs. Mm. Um, right. But, yeah. and, and it seems like the high, at least on Saturday to Sunday, is around 10 to 7. I'm not too sure what the low is. Uh, I'm assuming it's somewhere in the single digits. Uh, if people do have electric heat, like is, is there something that, I guess just wear layers that night or have an extra blanket just in case you are feeling cold? Absolutely. So thinking about all those things, you need extra blankets, minimizing how many times you go into your fridge uh, so that doesn't lose the heat. Ensuring you have a backup alarm clock, consider using your phone rather than a plug-in device. Uh, so, you know, again, think about what your actions will be that evening and make sure you have what you need at home with you. All right, and so uh, are, are you getting people calling you guys and kind of wondering what's happening? Are, are we doing it now because we're right after this, it's summer and it gets brutally hot here in Southern Ontario. Is that why you, the timing is, is this kind of that sweet spot? That is a great question and you nailed it. This is a time when the system has the, you know, less amount of energy being used. We're sort of in shoulder, so not too much heat. Definitely not air conditioning just yet. So it is an opportune time to do the work. And again, we look to minimize it, do these things overnight when they're least impactful, the least amount of powers being used in the province. Uh, so it is it is a, the, the least most impactful time to, to schedule something like this. All right, Tiziana Bachega Rosa, thank you so much. We do appreciate your time. Thank you, Nathan. Sorry. Bill, it's close. Bill, I'm so sorry, Bill. Hey, it's all, I, I kind of messed your name a little in the beginning as well. It's all good. I appreciate it though. <laughs>